To set up your SlimVac, slide the battery into the back of the handheld, where it will click into position. Push the handheld down onto the reach wand until you hear it click into place. Line up the connector on the reach wand with the powered head, pushing the wand down onto the head until you also hear it click. Use both screws and wall plugs to secure the wall brackets to the wall and place covers over the screws. Press the vacuum handle into the wall bracket to secure. The tools and the accessory bag can also be neatly stored on the wall bracket. To charge your SlimVac, lie the handheld on its side. Insert the charger lead into the inlet on the back of the handle and plug into the mains. You can also charge the machine whilst attached to the wall mount as long as the wall mount is located by a wall charger. The on-off and charging light will continuously display the charger's progress, which takes five hours. Your SlimVac comes with various cleaning modes. For floor mode, to start cleaning, squeeze the trigger under the handle. As with all the cleaning modes, the green charging light indicates the power is on. To power the machine continuously, simply squeeze the trigger and push the power latch towards it. To change this setting, push the latch away from the trigger to unlock and release it. Press the brush bar's on-off button to activate it, repeating this process to deactivate it. For best results, the brush bar should be switched on for carpets and off for hard floors. For reach mode, press the powered head accessory release clip and pull to remove the powered head from the reach wand. Choose an accessory and push it into the reach wand until it clicks into place. The reach wand is ideal for hard to reach areas and for cleaning different areas up high and down low. For handheld mode, press the handheld release clip. Pull to separate the handheld from the reach wand. As with the reach mode, choose an accessory, pushing it into the handheld until it clicks into place. All of the accessories, including the powered head, can be attached directly onto the handheld. To empty the dirt container, press the handheld release clip and gently pull to separate the handheld from the reach wand. Then slide the battery out from the back of the handheld. Hold the handheld over a bin and press the dirt release button to allow the dirt and debris to fall out. Always empty the dirt container before cleaning the separator and filter. To clean the post motor filter, press the filter cover release buttons on both sides of the filter cover and pull to remove the filter from the machine. Tap the filter and filter cover holder over a bin to remove any dirt or debris. Then wash the filter under running water. To clean the filter and separator, turn the handheld over and press the dirt container release button. Pull the dirt container forward and up and away from the handheld to remove. Twist the mesh filter anti-clockwise to unlock and lift it to remove from the separator. To unlock the separator, twist the separator and lift it to remove from the handheld. Tap the mesh filter and separator over a bin to remove any dirt or debris, then use a dry cloth to wipe away any remaining dirt. To refit the separator, filter and dirt container, simply line up the arrows around the side of the separator with the arrows on the handheld. Twist the separator clockwise, locking it into place, and refit the mesh filter with the rim of the filter at the top. Twist the filter clockwise and lock it into place. Gently tilt the dirt container forward and line up onto the handheld. When the dirt container is seated on the handheld, push it backwards to lock into place. To clean the brush bar, simply slide to release it. The cover can't be removed. Lift to remove the left side of the brush bar first. Then clear any threads or hair from both ends of the brush bar, as well as any dirt or debris inside the housing of the powered head. When refitting the brush bar, fit the right side into the housing first. Then line it up and slot the left side into place. 